Hey everybody, it's Thursday afternoon here in the Philippines. Quick update, day six of construction. Got most of the crew back today. And it looks like today they're gonna finish up the footers. Give you guys a view of it. They hit some real big rocks. You can see here they've been busting them out. That's what they're digging. That's what they're digging through the right there. Hi guys. Hey, hey John Lloyd. Nice hat. <laughs> That's what they're digging through, solid rocks. So, I'll make this hole. Say hi, Happy. Hi. He's mine. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> Give you guys a view here. Looks like they did the footers, like that outline of our rooms in the bottom. This is gonna be bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, and then this is gonna be all open concept, kitchen, dining room, living room here. So <clears throat> they put gravel in the bottom of each of these footers. I don't know if you can see or not. It's really sunny. I can't see my screen. <clears throat> but I gotta finish all this up today if I can get that big rock out of there. Get a lot of comments on the hollow block and strength. Guys, most of the most of the weight is going to go on these support pillars, the 12 support pillars that they're, they're going to pour solid concrete. So the blocks don't need to be super strong, which they will be. They'll be These are fives. But you got to figure you're going to have concrete inside of them and they they render the outside and the inside with at least an inch inch on each side. So seven to eight inches of concrete. It's going to be fine because most of the weight's going to be on these support pillars. And we have twelve of them. So I'm not really. And these are these are strong. Like I said, these guys make these all the time. So they know what they're doing. They're strong. You just gotta water them. You water them every couple of days. Harden them. Harden them up. Hardens them up. So we'll be moving on tomorrow. Oh, you see, they got the wood wood forms on the outside now. I guess they're gonna put the crocodile board on or tie the steel forms steel pil rebar forms i don't know i'm not i'm not a big construction guy i'm so but i didn't think i was gonna get this quality of work you see these rebar supports i'll show them to you here we ended up getting grass three truckloads of gravel last night so we got gravel should last us a little bit that's four hundred dollars worth of gravel right there you four hundred us dollars which i think is expensive but... melvin yeah. but inflation happens everywhere even way up here <clears throat> got all 12 of these done a pillar support rebar support and then I'll show you what they've been making today they've been making these 12 of these I'll actually go on the bottom of each each support pillar just surprised that they do that so I'm kind of happy with how things are going here. 
And the guys are collecting all this bamboo from my chicken range. Got a lot of bamboo today. That's hard work because they got to go down, down in the river and cut it and bring it up out of the river bed. There's Elvin. Hey, Elvin. Yeah, he's got about 200 yard walk with that. So it's not easy work. We gotta order some more rebar. We're out of number 10 rebar. So we gotta order in for that. But I'll be interested to see uh, how they put these supports up tomorrow and tie them into the bottom pieces. So give you, so I'll give you guys a quick little update on how things went today. So the footers are done. So on to the next step. Give you guys a video tomorrow. Thanks for joining in. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.